Hey everyone, Joe Soto here, and I just want to give you my daily rant for the day. You know, I had a, a mastermind call with my 2019 marketing agency mastermind group just a, literally like a couple hours ago. And one of the things I was talking about with the group was how to approach networking events. You know, typically people go to these networking events and they have, you know, all these business cards. They can't wait to give their business cards out to as many people as they possibly can meet. Um, or they go and they go, I wonder how many business cards I can collect and then I can, you know, and how many people I can pitch to and how many people can I meet and share what I do and how I do it and all the services I sell. And all of this is the wrong way to approach a networking event. Now, when I first started my agency business, we went to every breakfast, that uh, business networking breakfast we could find. We went to a business networking <clears throat> uh, luncheons. We went to, uh, you know, evening after hour cocktail hours for business networking. I went to trade shows. I went to conferences, and. You know, I, I, I didn't go to conferences that were necessarily in my niche, right? So if you're selling social media services, some of you think you should go to all the social media conferences and that actually isn't true. You should be going to the conferences within your niche. So if you sell to restaurants, you should be going to the Restaurant Association regional conferences or regional meetings around, around the country. If you sell software, you should be going to software, I'm sorry, if, you're, uh, if, you're, if you sell to software companies, maybe you sell to SaaS companies, Go to where they have their conferences. This isn't that difficult. <laughs> if you target contractors and home remodelers, go to home remodeling trade shows and conferences where they all are at. And more on that later, but how do you? what do you do when you're at these events? What do you do when you're at a Chamber of Commerce meeting? And there's a Chamber of Commerce lunch and learn and you happen to be there in the audience networking with other business owners or other entrepreneurs or or other managers of other of, of departments of these different businesses in your community well it's simple it's still Carnegie 101 take a sincere interest in other people so when I go and I meet people my focus is if I would rather meet 10 people in a very high quality way I'd rather connect with 10 people Meaning, really connect, really get to know what their business is about, what they're about, what their story is about, how they got created, started their business, what's their objective, like what are they after, what are they shooting for, who's their ideal clients, so I can help them. And sometimes when I meet with people like this at networking events, I'll I'll try really hard to think of somebody that I personally know who could use their product or service. So if it's a software company and I mentioned a software, I may say, you know. <clears throat> if your product does X, Y, and Z, I know somebody. I have a guy, and you know, I I, I, I met him a, a long time ago, but we've been connected ever since. Who uses a similar software than that? Are you telling me that this is a competing software that can serve his needs better? Yes, it yes it can. Awesome. I'm going to do an email introduction for you. You have a card on you. I'm going to do an email introduction. I'm going to introduce you to hook you guys up. He will be open minded to talking with you if I let him know that he should be. So you can reach out to him, let him know what I said, but I'm gonna go ahead and do an email introduction. Would that help you at all? See, now I'm giving, now I'm giving value, right? So I'll always try to think of like, who can I refer to the person I'm talked to, to their business? So every single person, imagine if, every, imagine the mindset difference if you go to networking events and every person you meet, your objective is to figure out if you know somebody in your personal network that you could refer to their business or somebody who could use their product or somebody who could use their service. Now you might be saying, Joe, people already have accountants and they already have attorneys. So what if I meet an attorney? Okay, let's say I meet an attorney. And maybe maybe I don't service attorneys, but I meet an attorney, I'm at a networking event and the guy says, I'm gonna happen to be an attorney. I say, great. What? area of law do you practice in? They say, well, I'm a personal injury attorney or I'm a, you know, corporate attorney, whatever. Let's say he says, I'm a corporate, att a corporate attorney. So, okay, what kind of companies do you help? Like what's your like ideal size of companies that you help out? And so maybe he tells me, say, okay, 
And you know, normally when companies decide to hire you or may, retain you as their legal counsel, uh, you know, before bad things happen, why would they choose you or kind of secure you as their company attorney over somebody else? And I tell them, the reason why I'm asking is, I wanna see if there's anybody in my network that might be a candidate for your service and for your practice, your law firm. And I get this out of them. <clears throat> and then I genuinely try to think up somebody, I try to think of somebody that, they, that could use their attention. Now, I know lots of business owners. I don't know any necessarily that need legal services, but you know what? I'll make a couple introductions to a couple people I'm networking and say, listen, if you're ever in the market or you're ever in a position in your business where you're considering a new, to have new legal representation or somebody who you would retain to take care of your company or look out for you. I just met John at this networking function. He seems to have his act together. We had a long discussion to where I think that if I was in position of looking for new legal representation, he'd be at the top of the list. I think you guys should connect. And I would do an email introduction like that. Now, I would do that even if I don't think that the the, the attorney would ever hire me because maybe I don't I don't focus our niche on attorneys. But guess what? That attorney is connected in the in the community. That attorney knows people that you should be talking to, and you've gone out of your way to help them first without asking for anything in return. You see, people go to these networking events and they just want to start spitting out, pitch, pitching their services. Oh, I offer social media. I offer digital marketing. I offer marketing this. I offer email marketing. I offer SEO. People don't give a, a crap about that. They care about what you can do for them and if you can help them. And remember, they're at those networking functions because they're looking out for themselves. So help them look out for themselves better and you'll have an angle to approach networking functions that will differentiate you from other people who are out there networking alongside you who are just interested in themselves, just interested in making sure somebody else has their card. I'm much more interested in getting someone's card than giving a card. And the, one of the main reasons is because somewhere in the conversation, I might be stimulated to write down something they said. I might be incentivized to, to, to write down something they said because later on, this could mean a good referral for me. Maybe they say something that, like they're a Packers fan or they're a Bears fan or they're a you know, a, a Washington Nationals fan. And so I'll, I'll write that down on their business card, something that I can remember about them that maybe will allow me to connect with them later or I can mention later to follow up email. And then some of you are like, well then Joe, do you follow up with those people and, and, and pitch them then? No, I'm gonna follow up with them and add some value. Maybe I, I follow up and say, listen, Jim, you were talking about how um, it's difficult for you to find clients right now for your law firm and I have some ideas uh, I'd like to share with you so I recorded this quick video with some of those ideas or maybe you just say so here's a couple of those ideas and you write them out or maybe you link him to a couple of articles or maybe to a training you've done where you teach people how to find clients for free that or whatever it might be or maybe you recommend them to somebody who helps attorneys you add value first okay then you might follow up on a third time with you know, uh, if you know, with if there's if they're a prospect, you could follow up with something a little bit more extensive, like a, a full blown like audit or video audit, or maybe if you just put them in a sequence of sending them more value, getting in front of them. But this is how you approach networking, in the interest of the other person, not in your interest. I, if I walk out not giving a business card to anybody, but I have a dozen or so business cards of people that I think I really could help or I know they know people I could help that I've done well and I've done it sincerely and I've separated myself from all the competition <laughs> okay because the competition is running in there like angry packs of wolves and people are people are skeptical and cautious at networking meetings nowadays because they think that you're just out for yourself so in order to be different you have to act different and you have to genuinely just be different than everybody else which means stop pitching and start connecting with people. And thanks for listening to today's Daily Rant.